Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my trade tips. Today I'm going to show you how to fit a floating shelf to an internal plasterboard wall. This particular shelf comes in two pieces. Very cleverly has a bracket that tucks away inside. What you need to do is get this fitted perfectly level to the wall. Once you've decided on the position and the height you want in your shelf, you need to mark it in the centre of the bracket in the pre-drilled hole. Now before you start drilling any holes in the wall, you need to know exactly what's behind the plasterboard. That's why you're going to need a detector. This allows me to glide it across the wall and it'll tell me if there's any wires, pipes or stud work behind the plasterboard. The area that I want to drill, there's no pipes or wires there which is great, but if I move it further over, it automatically finds a pipe or a wire behind there. That gives me the indication to avoid drilling in that area. Once I've drilled my first hole, it now allows me to put the plug into it. And when fixing to plasterboard, make sure you're using the correct fixings. And I can offer the bracket up and get the first screw to bite. And once you've got your first screw fixed in position, you can then put your spirit level on and check that it's perfectly level before you mark it up and drill it for the next screws. Now you've got your bracket firmly fixed to the wall, you can slide your shelf into position. And finally, you've got two small pre-drilled holes on the underside of the shelf. You put two small grommet screws in there, screwed in, and then that'll stop the shelf sliding off. your float and shelf complete. If you'll plan any DIY task in the near future, you may need a little bit of advice on tools or some top DIY tips. Well, visit silverlinetools.com. Fire your question away to me, and I'm sure with over 20 years' experience in building and DIY, I'll be able to help you with the answers that you need to complete your own DIY tasks.